top 10 GFTIs in India for 2022. Government-funded technical institutions, or popularly known as GFTIs, can be categorized in the premier higher educational institutions. GFTIs include universities, engineering, and architecture colleges that are funded by the Government of India. When it comes to making an informed choice among the GFTIs, we have got your back. In this video, we're looking at the top GFTIs that offer a striking salary, graduation, and placement in India, according to the NIRF for the year 2022. Are you thrilled to analyze the top 10 spots for 2022? Let's dive into unearthing the top-notch GFTIs. The institution on the list at number 10 is the renowned Institute of Infrastructure Technology Research and Management Ahmedabad. The approved intake of the UG program was 180 UG students in 2020 and a higher 228 UG students in both 2021 and 2022. In the UG program, a fair 80.89% of students graduated in 2020. The graduation percentage was a great 90.86% in 2021 and a breathtaking 96.74% of students graduated in 2022. The number of students placed was a mere 46.39% in 2020 and a further reduced 27.83% of students were placed in 2021 and finally the least 23.84% of placed students in 2022. The median salary was 3.25 lakhs per annum in 2020. The placed students were offered a median salary of a reduced 3 lakhs per annum in 2021 and saw the highest 3.36 lakhs per annum in 2022. Institute of Infrastructure Technology Research and Management has scored 54.88% in teaching, learning and resources, 20.07% in research and professional practices, 40.44% in graduation outcomes, 37.21% in outreach and inclusivity, and finally 1.08% in perception from the public. With all of these scores, under multiple parameters, the institution has attained an overall score of 34.41% and has bagged the 190th rank on the NIRF table. Sant Longoval Institute of Engineering and Technology is at the ninth place. At Sant Longoval Institute, the allowed admission remained steady over the course of the three years at 570 UG students. A startling 98.71% of students graduated from the undergraduate program in 2020, followed by 97.88% in 2021 and 97.08% in 2022. The placement rate was 35.48% in 2020, 39.07% in 2021 and 49.45% in 2022, according to Sant Longoval Institute. In 2020, the median pay was a reasonable 3 lakhs per annum. In 2021 and 2022, it increased to 3.4 lakhs per annum and 3.5 lakhs per annum, respectively, for placed students. Sant Longoval Institute of Engineering and Technology has scored 57.44% in teaching, learning and resources, 18.52% in research and professional practices, 30.12% in graduation outcomes, 60.83% in outreach and inclusivity, and finally 3.14% in perception from the public. With all of these scores under multiple parameters, the institution has attained an overall score of 35.2% and has bagged the 178th rank on the NIRF table. At number 8, we have the brilliant Pondicherry Engineering College, Puducherry. The approved intake was 720 UG students in both 2020 and 2021, and a much higher 780 UG students in 2022. The graduation percentage was a fair 85.21% in 2020, a graduation percentage which was much lower, 77.67%, was observed in 2021, and a mind-blowing 100% in 2022. Pondicherry Engineering College portrays a placement percentage with a breathtaking 98.42% in 2020, another amazing 98.64% in 2021, and a significant 85.33% in 2022. The institution follows a progressive growth of 4.9 lakhs per annum in both 2020 and 2021 and a slightly higher 5 lakhs per annum in 2022. Pondicherry Engineering College has a score of 46.38% in teaching, learning and resources, 15.51% in research and professional practices, 59.49% in graduation outcomes, 54.2% in outreach and inclusivity, and finally 8.8% in perception from the public. With all of these individual scores, the institution has achieved an overall score of 36.77% and has been ranked at number 150 on the NIRF table. 
Welcome to College Suggest. All of the facts mentioned in this video are directly sourced from the data submitted by the college to the NIRF for the 2021 ranking. We will leave the link in the description below. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite college details, college comparisons, courses, careers, and so much more. Coming in at number 7, we have the National Institute of Food Technology, Entrepreneurship and Management, Sony Perth. The approved intake was 180 UG students in 2020, a reduced 169 UG students were eyed in 2021, and an approved intake of 180 UG students in 2022. In the UG program, the graduation percentage was a fine 79.89% in 2020, the graduation percentage was slightly lower 78.82% in 2021, and an excellent 100% graduated in 2022. The number of students placed was a sensational 100% in 2020, a much reduced 67.01% of students were placed in 2021, and finally an appreciable 76.34% of students were placed in 2022. The median salary was a constant 5.21 lakhs per annum in 2020, while a slight decrease of 5.2 lakhs per annum was being offered in 2021, and finally the highest 10.02 lakhs per annum to the place students in 2022. National Institute of Food Technology, Entrepreneurship and Management has scored 58.14% in Teaching, Learning and Resources, 8.73% in Research and Professional Practices, 57.14% in Graduation Outcomes, 63.08% in Outreach and Inclusivity, and ultimately 1.60% in Perception from the Public. With the aid of all of these individual scores, the institution has attained an overall score of 37.96% and climbed up to the 127th rank on the NIRF table. At number 6, we have the exceptional Tezpur University, Tezpur. The institution approved intake was 315 UG students in 2020, a higher 361 UG students in 2021, and a slightly higher 366 UG students in 2022. Delving into the UG program at Tezpur University, the graduation percentage was an acceptable 87.04% in 2020, the graduation percentage was a satisfactory 86.79% in 2021, and a great 91.85% of students graduated in 2022. The number of students placed was a mere 50.79% in 2020, a slightly reduced 47% of students were placed in 2021, and the least of the lot was 31.56% of the placed students in 2022. The median salary offered to placed students was 3.6 lakhs per annum in 2020, a slightly reduced 3.49 lakhs per annum in 2021, and a higher median salary of 4.25 lakhs per annum was granted to placed students in 2022. Tezpur University has scored 50.32% in Teaching, Learning and Resources, 30.7% in Research and Professional Practices, 44.63% in Graduation Outcomes, 40.88% in Outreach and Inclusivity, and 7.91% in Perception from the Public. The blend of all of these scores confers Tezpur University an overall score of 38.12% and the 123rd rank on the NIRF table. At number 5, we have the glorious Sri Mata Vaishno Devi University, Katra. The approved intake saw 325 UG students in 2020, a constant 380 UG students in both 2021 and 2022. The UG section has seen a commendable graduation of 84.62% in 2020. The students who graduated stood at an even better 94.51% in 2021 and a striking 93.1% in 2022. The placement percentage was a mere 62.5% in 2020, and a much higher 89.58% was the placement percentage in 2021, and a good 89.26% in 2022. The median annual income was 3.5 lakhs per annum in 2020 and 2021, and the median salary was a slightly higher 3.6 lakhs per annum in 2022. Now let's look at the various NIRF parameters Sri Mata Vaishno Devi University has scored. 61.82% for Teaching, Learning and Resources, 24.29% in Research and Professional Practices, 48.14% in Graduation Outcomes, 44.01% in Outreach and Inclusivity, and finally 2.12% in Perception from the Public. This yields an overall score of 40.08%, ranking number 101 on the NIRF table. 
We have Punjab Engineering College, a deemed to be University Chandigarh, at the fourth place. PEC has 697 UG students enrolled in 2020, 730 were admitted in 2021, and 771 in 2022. A startling 90.19% of students graduated from the undergraduate program in 2020, followed by 94.26% of students in 2021 and 92.44% of students in 2022. According to PEC, the placement rate was 96.77% in 2020, 89.73% in 2021 and 81.15% in 2022. The median income at PEC is a reasonable 7 lakhs per annum in 2020 and students who were placed were given offers of 8.71 lakhs per annum in 2021 and a slightly increased 9 lakhs per annum in 2022. PEC has bagged 50.68% in teaching, learning and resources, 17.94% in research and professional practices, 65.84% in graduation outcomes, 53.67% in outreach and inclusivity, and finally 19.27% in perception from the public. Summing up all of these scores, PEC has attained an overall score of 41.05% and has been ranked at number 87 on the NIRF table. Now we're about to unfold the most awaited moment, the ultimate revelation of the top three GFDIs for the year 2022. At number three, we have the National Institute of Food Technology, Entrepreneurship and Management, Tanjavur. In 2020, 60 UG students were enrolled at NIFTEM, 75 will be enrolled in 2021 and 2022. In 2020, an astounding 91.11% of students graduated from the UG program, followed by 71.43% in 2021, and at the very least, 32.14% in 2022. Regarding the placement rate, NIFTEM found that it was 100% in 2020, 90.91% in 2021, and again 100% in 2022. The median salary available at NIFTEM is a respectable 2.73 lakhs per annum in 2020, and play students were offered a higher 3.2 lakhs per annum in 2021 and a somewhat increased 3.3 lakhs per annum in 2022. NIFTEM has bagged 71.86% in teaching, learning and resources, 14.18% in research and professional practices, 46.47% in graduation outcomes, 56.98% in outreach and inclusivity, and finally 2.64% in perception from the public. Summing up all of these scores, NIFTEM has attained an overall score of 41.06% and has been ranked at number 86 on the NIRF table. At the second spot, we have the illustrious Birla Institute of Technology, Ranchi. The approved intake at BIT was a constant 780 UG students across the three years. Delving into the UG program graduation percentage, which viewed an appreciable 86.16% in 2020, the graduation percentage was a fantastic 100% in 2021 and a good 91.58% of students graduated in 2022. At BIT, the number of students placed was a fine 73.97% in 2020, a much reduced 62.56% of students were placed in 2021, and a slightly higher 63.79% in 2022. The median salary offered to place students at BIT stands at a massive 8 lakhs per annum in 2020, a higher median salary of 8.43 lakhs per annum in 2021, and a slightly lower 8.1 lakh per annum in 2022. Bidla Institute of Technology has bagged 66.55% in teaching, learning and resources, 34.54% in research and professional practices, 56.6% in graduation outcomes, 50.59% in outreach and inclusivity, and finally 26.21% in perception from the public. Summing up all of these scores, BIT Ranji has attained an overall score of 49.33% and has been ranked number 53 on the NIRF table. At number one, we have the phenomenal Institute of Chemical Technology, Mumbai, which proves time and time again to be the showstopper in the country among all of the government-funded technical institutions in India. ICT saw a constant 211 UG students in 2020, 2021 and 2022. From the UG program, the graduation percentage was a phenomenal 100% in 2020, 2021 and 2022. Also moving on to the placement percentage, the number of students placed were at 76.15% in 2020, 
ICT observed a reduced placement percentage of 53.8% in 2021, which stood at a better 68.21% in 2022. The median salary offered at ICT is an appreciable 4.75 lakh per annum in 2020, and play students were presented with a higher 7 lakh per annum in 2021 and a slightly reduced 6.55 lakhs per annum in 2022. The Institute of Chemical Technology has scored 76.45% in teaching, learning and resources, 56.99% in research and professional practices, 69.53% in graduation outcomes, 54.58% in outreach and inclusivity, and finally 19.95% in perception from the public. With these stunning scores, ICT has an overall score of 61.4% and has been ranked at number 18 on the NIRF table. With the graduation percentage of all the colleges, there isn't one that tops the list, but three. The Institute of Chemical Technology, National Institute of Food Technology, Entrepreneurship and Management, Sonipat, and Pondicherry Engineering College. All of them have a phenomenal 100% depicting their excellence in churning out brilliant engineering graduates. Delving into the placement stats, the unparalleled winner is the National Institute of Food Technology, Entrepreneurship and Management, Tanjavur, with 100% placements, highlighting the Institute's effort to place all eligible students. National Institute of Food Technology, Entrepreneurship and Management, Sonipat, is the showstopper when it comes to the median salary package offered to the placed students, which is a mammoth 10.02 lakhs per annum. So there you have it, all the nitty gritties about the top GFTIs. What other interesting top 10s would you like to see? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for more information, visit us at collegesuggest.com.